Keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure, here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! I hope all of you are fine students and today your teacher Inasia D'Souza from Takur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College would like to teach you another chapter in English of Standard 7 and I'm sure that you may have guessed it by now. Yes, they are describing words which are also called as adjectives. And as you look at the pictures here below, I know there will be many different adjectives that you will be using to describe these pictures. So an adjective can add color and life to your sentence and it can add important information. But that's not all. Adjectives have many other uses. They can tell you the quantity, how much, and quality, how well, of things, and they can help you compare two things. In other words, adjectives are wonderful, amazing, and fantastic. Adjectives, types, and forms. What is an adjective? Adjectives are words that modify, that means change, nouns, pronouns, and other adjectives. My cat had each of these four adorable kittens. If you removed all the adjectives from this sentence, what would you be left with? Cat had kittens. Crazy, isn't it? Yes, and that's the reason why we learn about seven types of English adjectives that every student must know. One, descriptive. Two, quantitative. Three, demonstrative. Four, possessive. Five, interrogative. Six, distributive. Seven, articles. The first one, descriptive. A descriptive adjective is probably what you think of when you heard the word adjective. Descriptive adjectives are used to describe nouns and pronouns. For example, the, the beautiful flowers have a nice smell. Now look at the words beautiful and nice. They are adjectives. Words like beautiful, cute, silly, tall, annoying, loud, and nice are all descriptive adjectives. Quantitative. Quantitative adjectives describe the quantity of something. For example, how many children do you have? I, have on, I only have one daughter. So one becomes your quantitative adjective. Quantitative adjectives describe the quantity of something. In other words, they answer the question, how much or how many? Numbers like 1 and 30 are this type of adjective. The third one, demonstrative. A demonstrative adjective describes which noun or pronoun you are referring to. These adjectives include the words this used to refer to a singular noun close to you. Let us take an example. This cushion is beautiful. That used to refer to a singular noun far from you. These used to refer to a plural noun close to you. Those used to refer to a plural noun far from you. Which bicycle is yours? Now, this question also has a beautiful adjective in it. And I would like you to guess which kind of adjective it is. Let us look at possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives show possession. They describe 
whom a thing belongs to. Some of the most common possessive adjectives include my belonging to me, his belonging to him, her belonging to her, their belonging to them, your belonging to you, our belonging to us. My dad is my hero. So, my becomes a possessive adjective. You can't just say that's my. You have to say that's my pen. So, my becomes a possessive adjective. When you want to leave off the noun or pronoun being modified, use these possessive adjectives instead. Mine, his, hers, theirs, yours, ours. For example, even though saying that's my is incorrect, saying that's mine is perfectly fine. Interrogative. Interrogative adjectives interrogate, meaning that they ask a question. These adjectives are always followed by a noun or a pronoun and are used to form questions. The interrogative adjectives are which, ask to make a choice between options, what, ask to make a choice in general, whose, ask who something belongs to. Example, which color is your favorite? Which would be your adjective? Distributive adjective. Distributive adjectives describe specific members out of a group. These adjectives are used to single out one or more individual items or people. Some of the most common distributive adjectives include each, every single one of a group used to speak about group members individually. Every, every single one of a group used to make generalizations. Either or either one between a choice of two. Neither or neither. Not one or the other between a choice of two. Any one or some things out of any number of choices. This is also used when the choice is irrelevant like it doesn't matter I'll take any of them any year. Has no preference. But let us look at the example on top. Every rose has its thorn. Every would be a distributive adjective. Can you guess the distributive adjective in the next one? Which of these two songs do you like? I don't like either song. Yes, I'm sure you must have guessed either as the right one. Articles. There are only three articles in the English language. A, an, and the. Although articles are on their own part of speech, they are technically also adjectives. Surprising, isn't it? Let us now find out more about it. For example, if it makes sense to say, I don't understand this question, you can also say, I don't understand the question. The is an article here. On the other hand, it sounds strange to say, I need this tissue because you don't need that specific tissue. You just need a tissue. 
Let us look at a few examples. The elephants left huge footprints in the sand. And elephant can weigh over 6,000 pounds. The is an adjective here and an is also an adjective. I hope you are leaving this article a bit smarter and more educated about the wonders of adjectives. So, till we meet again, I am sure you will be very happy and I thank you for your participation. Stay safe and healthy. God bless you. Have a nice day.